In this, my second podcast, I also want to share about anxiety, depression, and alcohol in my life. When I first got clean and sober in the mid-1980s, there was what was called an Alano Club close to where I lived. An Alano Club is a kind of a clubhouse where people in recovery that are trying to quit drinking or trying to stop doing drugs just hang out. The Alana Club was really nice. They had a coffee bar with a room with a pool table, and they had meetings all day long at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, 3 in the afternoon, 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. So during my first few years, I must have gone to a thousand meetings there, and I really got to know alcoholics and addicts. And I learned alcoholics and addicts' minds just work differently. Anxiety and depression have always been a big problem in my life, long before I ever took my first sip of alcohol. And I've noticed that also in many other alcoholics and addicts. Alcoholics seem to have minds that are usually racing, and not always with good thoughts. And alcohol can be an instant cure for that. But for some alcoholics like me, who have a low tolerance to alcohol, but have a crazy obsession to drink after taking the first drink, alcohol often ends up destroying their life. But there are definitely different kinds of alcoholics. Some alcoholics have a high tolerance But since they can consume so much alcohol, it usually destroys them physically. So I feel fortunate that I've been able to be clean and sober most of my lifetime since my mid-twenties. But I did mess up some over the years and tried drinking again, but it was always a mistake. So many of my friends from when I was younger and from Hollywood had problems with alcohol But really, my friends that have problems with drugs in their life really got their lives destroyed, and so many of them died in an early age. I've pretty much tried every drug I've ever heard of, but drugs like heroin really scared me, because I figured if I could mess up so much on alcohol, heroin would really take me down quickly if I kept doing it. Another thing we used to do in Los Angeles and on Hollywood Boulevard when I was hanging out with the punk kids there was smoke PCP, angel dust. So what I'm hoping is maybe some younger people, or actually anyone at any age, might hear my background by listening to my bio. And if alcohol or drugs start to become a problem for you, just know you can find a way out and get it out of your life. AA and NA meetings are the answer for most people. And after you get alcohol and drugs out of your life, then you have the freedom to do a whole lot of cool stuff with your life that you definitely would miss out on if alcohol and drugs are a problem in your life. I liked going to NA and AA meetings when I was younger, but after I got older, I kind of feel uncomfortable when I go to them. For me now, exercise helps a whole lot in just staying busy and trying to keep my mind clear of negative thoughts and trying to keep my mind occupied with good things. So that is part of the reason I'm doing this podcast now. But I'm also looking forward to doing this podcast mainly because it is enjoyable, talking about stuff I find interesting and sharing my opinion about things I see happening in the USA that are not good, and also things that give me some hope that a better future might be possible. So thanks for listening.